In this problem, the number of calories that you burn varies directly with the number of minutes cardio the person does. If after six minutes, 60 minutes, a total of 525 calories are burned, how many calories would you burn after 40 minutes? Um, so we're going to go through our steps. Now, our first step is to determine type. The number of calories that you burn varies directly, so it's a direct variation. So step one, it's a direct. Now typically direct is of this form, y is equal to kx. Step two, pick variables that make sense. Well, number of calories that you burn varies. Varies is where your equals goes. Number of calories that you burn. Um, uh, C for calories is equal to k varies directly with the number of minutes of cardio that a person does. Um, oh, I don't know, M for minutes? Step three, look for your one example, use it to find K, then plug K into your formula. Okay, if after 60 minutes, so they're telling us that uh, M is 60, um, a total of 525 calories are burned. So they're telling us C, our number of calories, is 525. Now we want to use that to find K, so we'll divide both sides by 60. So I've got 525 divided by 60 is equal to K. Now you could change that, you could simplify it, you could change it to decimal. Doesn't do you a whole lot of good, because you're going to end up plugging your, in your calculator in a second anyway. Now we want to plug that into uh, the formula formula we're referring to is the um, formula from step two. So that's now going to become C is equal to, and we know what we know K is now, so it's 525 over 60 M. Step four, find what they really want. Well, um, how many calories, so what, C is what you're trying to find, would be burned after 40 minutes. So they're telling us that um, M will be 40 minutes. So let's go plug that into our calculator and see what that gives us. Let's see. 525 divided by 60 times 40 and press enter. And we get 350. So that'd be our answer.